I remember that we first responded to the question, what do scientists think, by saying that they think a variety of things and this is only natural. Uh, on the one hand, they hoped that this instrument would never be used in war, and therefore they hoped that we would not start out by using it. On the other hand, they hoped, or other people hoped, that it would put an end to this war, save countless lives, put an end to a, a, a butchery that had been going on for many years and had been marked by atrocities, concentration camps, murderous raids on cities, um, Rotterdam and Dresden and Tokyo itself. You ask yourself, would the Japanese government as then constituted and with the bitter division between the the peace party and the war party, would it have been influenced by a, an enormous nuclear firecracker detonated at great height doing little damage uh, and your answer is as good as mine I don't know I know only that I was told that an invasion was planned that it would be necessary and that it would be terribly costly Alamogordo, New Mexico at the bomb test site the scientists are working under growing pressure they are told there must be no further delays. The president must know the results of the test when he meets with Stalin. In mid-July, a car arrives at the test site. In the back seat is the plutonium for the bomb. It is 48 hours before H hour at ground zero. Sunday, July 15, 1945. Almogordo, New Mexico. It is D-1 for the test of the world's first atomic device. In the bunkers, the scientists and the generals wait. No one is quite sure that the $2 billion device they call the gadget will work. The weather is checked. Preparations continue. The scientists make up a pool on the power of the device. Fermi suggests it may blow up New Mexico. As the waiting goes on, the tension increases. My hands were on the switch, and then I could hear the timer counting, three, two, one. And all of a sudden, an incredible flash of light illuminated everything many, many times brighter than sunlight does in New Mexico and at noon on a bright day. Many miles of the desert were completely blinding, and so I actually lost uh, my vision for a few seconds. When it recovered, I turned back and I saw a huge ball of fire, bright yellow, rising through the atmosphere, the whole atmosphere in the direction of the bomb was filled with strange violet light. One of the most aesthetically beautiful things I've ever seen on an enormous scale was a cloud was peach, pink, and purple. We knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty and to impress him takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. <laughs>